Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Buffalo Plus YouTube page. Mike Catalana joining you today because on Wednesday, the NFL schedule comes out. And in past years, we know for Bills fans, that was not really that big of a deal. There was the hope of a primetime game. You knew what used to happen. The, they would slide the Bills on a lame Thursday night against the Jets because, I don't know, Rex Ryan was coaching one or the other team. And that would be the Bills' exposure, uh, probably wearing those silly uniforms too. But instead, the Bills have become one of those teams now. One of the teams that you know it's not just a matter of being in prime time, it's how many games. And I think we're going to see the Bills play at night a lot. And I know a lot of you want those Sunday 1 o'clock games. It's what you're used to, and that's great. There'll be some of those games but I think the Bills are a built for prime time team, and I think we're going to see them a lot. So none of us really know yet what the schedule is going to be like, but there are some opportunities as we take a look at it. Let's start with the Tom Brady elephant in the room. We know Tom Brady won it again, this time with Tampa Bay, and we know the history in the league is the champs start out on the Thursday night nationally televised game. In many cases, it's a rematch, maybe a rematch of the conference championship game, maybe a rematch of the Super Bowl or just a great matchup between two teams. Tampa does play New England, but that game's in Foxborough. So there's no way the Bucs are opening on the road. Tampa has division games that are good, but, you know, Drew Brees ain't playing anymore. So when you start looking, that matchup between the Bills and the Bucs, Josh Allen against Tom Brady in Tampa, that's the way it's set up for this year, I think would be a phenomenal choice for the opening game of the season. Will it happen? I don't know. I think there's a thought around the NFL that you've already got that first game. You're going to get a big audience. Do you go another route? Is Tom Brady and the Buccaneers enough to bring in that big audience? But the NFL likes to sell and they like it to be big and they're going to be promoting that game for weeks leading up to it. There's the opportunity to play the Cowboys, even the Giants, but the Giants don't have the marquee players. I mean, Dallas has Dak Prescott coming back and it's Dallas against Tom Brady. Unfortunately, we know that's a ratings winner one way or the other. And I know a lot of you don't want to see the Bills play in that game. They don't want the Bills on the opening night game as the road team when they Tom Brady raises another banner. I kind of think it would be great. It's a non-conference game. In the big picture, it's not as important as the AFC game, certainly AFC East games. I think there's a chance. I think it's probably going to go elsewhere. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see the Bills go into Tampa and knock off Brady with the history of the franchise against Tom Brady in that first game. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. But as you look through the rest of the Bills schedule, and again, this will be announced Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, though I'm sure there'll be some leaks. You go through it. And the biggest thing I think that I take away is that all of a sudden the AFC East has some marketable teams now. Uh, you know, New England was still a primetime team last year. I'm not exactly sure why, because everybody knew Brady was gone and they weren't very good. I don't know how good they're going to be this year. I guess we'll wait to see if Mac Jones takes over. But I think there's the opportunity for one of the Bills-Patriots games to be a primetime game. And you can put the Bills in any slot right now and they bring in the numbers. But I would rank in order of the games. I think Sunday night is still the biggest game. So the Thursday night games have really crept up and it's getting close. And then the Monday night game has been the third game. I think going forward, that's going to be a little different. But I could see a Bills-Patriots matchup uh, on primetime, maybe a Monday night game. Uh, you know, if, if Brady was still around, obviously it'd be different, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so they've got games at home and away with those teams. Uh, Miami and the Bills are going to be one of the primetime games. Uh, Miami is the team expected to challenge Buffalo. And I think you're going to see them play in the prime time. Um, I could see that being a home Thursday night game in the division. Uh, I could see that being later in the season if they expect Miami to be good. Um, but we will have to wait to see how it matches up. But I don't see a problem with putting those two teams on, you know, one of the big marquee games for this year. And also in the division, you have the Jets. And, you know, everybody likes to take shots at the Jets and deservedly so, but they do have the rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of people are going to want to see him. Bills and Jets was a staple for a while in different primetime games when they would sort of shoehorn both teams in there somewhere. My guess is the Jets get a little overexposure this year 
because of the new quarterback and the thought that they are going to be better. When I say overexposure for them, maybe two primetime games and a couple of four o'clock games. So we'll see. But I think as a Bills fan, you're going to look and say the days of those Sunday one o'clock division games uh, are going to be limited. I think there's every opportunity to have those games as primetime games. And that sort of maps out the rest of the schedule, right? Because if you if you make one of the games, say New England, or even two, New England and Miami, some sort of night games, it reduces what else you have. Let's, let's look mostly at the home schedule. And I don't see that many opportunities, at least for night games, are concerned. Atlanta, no buzz, Bills in Atlanta. Uh, they've got good players. You know, they got Matt Ryan, they got Julio Jones, if he's still around. I don't see any buzz. I don't see that being a night game. You know, Atlanta's going to end up playing, you know, New Orleans or Tampa, one of those division games. Carolina, we can sell uh, Bean and McDermott and the old Panthers all we want. Doesn't work nationally. I don't see that as being the type of game that draws a national TV audience. No chance of the Houston Texans, right? Uh, Deshaun Watson, Playing or not, that team's not going to be very good. That's going to be a that's got Sunday one o'clock written all over it. The Colts is a playoff rematch. The Carson Wentz things makes them makes them different. Um, but don't we just feel like the Colts always seem to play Jacksonville and Tennessee on a Thursday night game? That seems to be a given. So I don't know if that game comes back at home as a you know, Sunday night or a Monday night game. I would shy away from that. I think Pittsburgh and the Bills has every opportunity to happen again. It was a Sunday night game last year. I could see it happening again, especially now, obviously with fans in the stands, it would be so much different. So I would keep an eye on that game when the schedule comes out Wednesday night that the Bills have the Steelers come in, say again, on a Sunday night game. The Steelers are always a draw. The Bills are becoming that team. Obviously, they are right now. That'll be good. Uh, the Washington football team, I know they have Fitz. I know they're pretty good. I, th that connection between Fitz and the Bills plays locally more than it does nationally. Fitz is Fitz. Everybody knows him, but I don't see that. I think that's got Sunday 1 o'clock in Orchard Park, too. Road games. Uh, Jacksonville, no. Uh, they're going to play in London. Uh, you know, They'll play a primetime game again. It's going to be one of those. You know, Tennessee, Indy type games for them on a Thursday night. I know they've got the new quarterback. By the way, Tebow, he's not even going to be on the roster. I think it's a, a shame that they're even at the moment giving him a, a one of the 90 spots. I don't think he has any chance to make the roster as a tight end unless they're trying him as some sort of gadget guy. But, you know, he hasn't played football in a while. Let's forget about that. Uh, new Orleans, you know, without Breeze, uh, I don't see the Bills and the Saints as that kind of matchup uh, for a night game. I think that's a Sunday game also. You know, keep it in mind, the networks like to keep some of these. But, you know, New Orleans is one of those teams. Without Breeze, it changes. Doesn't mean they can't be good, but I think it changes. So we'll have to wait to see, but I don't expect that. The Titans, you know, they had their matchup last year, as you remember, ended up being brutal for the Bills. We had to wait and wait, and then it ended up on a Tuesday night. That game has a very, very good chance to be a primetime game. Um, playoff teams, teams that have met, teams with a little bit of a history. So keep that one in mind too. And then Kansas City's a lock. Kansas City's a night game. Kansas City, uh, take your pick. I think it's got Sunday night football written all over it. I think you could push that game to October, November, and expect both of those teams are going to be good. It's Allen against Mahomes. It's a rematch of the AFC championship game. I think, not that it's a big surprise, but I think the Tampa game and the Kansas City game are right on the top of my list for primetime games when it comes out on Wednesday. I mean, you know, you start the schedule looking at Mahomes, let's be honest. It's a team that went to the Super Bowl. He's the most exciting player in the league, and Josh Allen is right there with him. So write this one in pen. You know, Bills at the Chiefs, again at the Chiefs. Uh, they did play in Buffalo, but it's going to be at the Chiefs like it was for last year in the playoff game. Um, yeah, that's going to be a primetime game. So when all said and done, I, I would say this. I say Kansas City's a primetime game. I say Tampa's a primetime game. I think one of those other playoff-type teams, whether that's Indy, 
Pittsburgh or Tennessee is a primetime game. And then I think there's a chance, maybe even two of those, I think then there's a chance for at least one, if not two division games that are played at night. It is funny to say it really started with that Steelers or excuse me, Cowboys game on Thanksgiving when the Bills put up huge numbers. Josh Allen had a big day. And then you come back the next year and Allen lights it up. The networks love them. They love the Bills. Stefan Diggs, a winning program. I think your Bills are one of those teams. 17 games this year. So I say when the schedule comes out, there is five primetime games for the Bills and the opportunity to have other games later in the year flexed up, maybe even a division game late in the season. So what used to be sort of a, uh, okay, who's opening day and what's the end of the year and when do we play Miami uh, now becomes a really fun experience to see what happens on those games. Um, The division games are going to be important. It is important to know when you play the Dolphins, I think. And maybe even that case for the Patriots this year. They always seem to play them right around Christmas for whatever the reason is and blew them out last year. So we'll see how that matches up this year. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think Bill's fans are going to enjoy it. And when we talk about that road trip or those road trips, in addition to the Miami game, uh, you know, and fans made the trip down to New York, certainly to see them play against the Jets. As we know, Foxborough has never been a big place for Bills fans to go on the road, but I'm guessing it's going to be easier to get tickets out of that place. But look at the rest of them. At Nashville, (laughs) that's a party. At Tampa Bay, at New Orleans, at the warm weather in Jacksonville. Save up your frequent flyer miles. Get on the road to see your team this year because you're going to be able to buy tickets. So that's going to do it for this version of the schedule where I'm trying to predict what you may see on Wednesday night. When the schedule is out, Dan and Jenna will join me. We will break down the entire schedule, how it looks to us. What are the key moments of the entire season? Did the Bills get the right amount of respect they deserve as a team that was in the AFC Championship game and could very well go to the Super Bowl? This year. So get excited for the Wednesday night schedule release. They say eight o'clock. Some things may leak out. I guess we will find out on Wednesday. For now, thanks for joining us here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube page. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on Wednesday when the schedule comes out for the Bills in 2021.